As you may have seen, I made a video about my complete crypto portfolio that I'm DCAing into in 2022. If you haven't seen it, check it out right here to see, you know, the complete playlist because I'm making a video about every single coin in the portfolio, why I'm holding it, what my price prediction is, what do I expect of this coin. First video was about Bitcoin. It's a very interesting video. Make sure to check it out in the playlist. This video is about Ethereum, which may be just as interesting, maybe even more because what we say about Ethereum goes for a lot of altcoins as well. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Take that like button and smash it. Leave a comment with your opinion. We will survive the bull market. Bruh. We will survive the bear market together. Now let's get into Ethereum. And really bro, check out this complete playlist because every day I'm dropping a video about a new coin that's in my portfolio, maybe two because it's a lot of uh, stuff. But you know, we will get into the juicy part because you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, okay, I know it's boring. The Bitcoin video didn't have a lot of views as well. And it's understandable because everybody knows about Bitcoin, but the juicy shit is about to come. So uh, therefore stay tuned. But for now, this is Ethereum. And at the moment of recording and you know, the, the, the prices in these videos are not that, uh, it's not that important. It's not that time sensitive. I mean, Ethereum is 1055 right now. Could be, uh, you know, 10% more or less or whatever when you watch this video. It's not that interesting because these are the longer term holds. Now, I have Ethereum in my portfolio for a very simple reason, because... It's the one that together with Bitcoin survived everything so far, right? It's a platform where most coins are being built on at the moment as well. There is a great website. If you don't know about this, then definitely check this out. This is DeFi Llama. Most people probably already heard of it, DeFi Llama. It's a DeFi dashboard where you can you know, basically check out everything. But if you look at chains, you'll see that the chain with the most, you know, the total value locked is Ethereum. Um, and it's Ethereum by far with $45 billion. And after that, we have the Binance Smart Chain with $5 billion. So, you know, with nine times ahead, Ethereum is still the winner. Despite the gas fees and despite the fact that it's not, the, you know, the fastest chain. Therefore, when the merge is coming up, when Ethereum 2.0 is coming out and it solves these problems, then it is on for Ethereum. Because if it's now already this popular, can you imagine what it is if it's actually usable for people, you know, that don't want to spend like $30 on a swap, right? I mean, you can easily, and if you ever want to use Ethereum, it's not always that expensive though. You can just Google gas fees and it takes you right here and it shows you how uh, much it is to do swap on Ethereum. And it's getting a lot better though. I mean, a swap for Ethereum right now, it's like six and a half dollars. So that's not that bad. A transfer is around two dollars and buying something on OpenSea is, you know, five dollars. So it's getting a lot better. Although it's still, you know, when you compare it to the Binance Smart Chain, Phantom, Avalanche, all these chains, Solana, it's still expensive. But I have seen this in three hundreds of dollars. So, you know, it's getting better. Also, if you check this out, there are, you know, the most protocols are built on Ethereum. There are a lot on the Binance Smart Chain and a lot on, you know, Avalanche, Phantom as well. Um, but for the rest, there is not a lot going on, right? So, uh, you, know, you know, it's important because if people build on Ethereum... Um, it's Ethereum that, that leads, right? It's the gas fees. And once Ethereum 2.0 comes out, Ethereum is actually getting deflationary, which is insane, right? I mean, if Ethereum can grow this much while it didn't have like a, a max supply or anything, then what will happen when Ethereum becomes deflationary? You can stake it for like 10%, something like that. I think this will be really, really, really big. So... Um, definitely keep your eyes on that. The fundamentals are most important, of course. Um, also, if we take a look at what has changed for the last month on Ethereum, you know, everything is down and uh, the total value locked has came down with, you know, 37% over the last month, which is not a lot higher than a lot of other protocols, right? I mean, we have the Binance Smart Chain, give or take the same, Tron, give or take the same, Avalanche, Solana, Polygon, basically everything. A lot of chains also came down a lot more. DeFi chain has came down a lot more. Phantom has, came down, has come down a lot more. Nier has came down a lot more. Um, you know, it's that says something about the trust as well, of course. What's my personal goal for my portfolio? Because I said, like, I, I have, you know, Ethereum in my portfolio. I'm DCAing into Ethereum. Um, I'm buying 
I, I, I just, you know, figured it out for myself. Like, okay, every week I'm, you know, taking an X amount of money and I'm putting that into my portfolio. And uh, just a small hint, I'm doing that on Friday because there was a lot of research and investigations and all that. And it turned out that usually Fridays are the best days to dollar cost average. So if you are about dollar cost averaging, you know, use it in your advantage. Um, I will go for the Friday. So Ethereum is always in my list, in my list together with Bitcoin for every single Friday to dollar cost average in. And um, it depends on how much money I have or how much I have earned. But a big portion of that is going into Ethereum. You could check it out in my portfolio. It's like 40% of my main income is going to the low risk portfolio. And a big portion of that is going to Ethereum. Um, and, you know, Ethereum is so damn cheap right now. I mean, if you compare it to what it was, Ethereum came down for, I don't know, let's let's check out on TradingView, by the way, because we have much better insights uh, on TradingView and Bitcoin really fucking up right here. Okay, but Ethereum, th this shows that we have a nice, you know, buying opportunity. If we put it on the weekly chart right here, we see that Ethereum was sitting at, you know, $4,868 at its high. And it's now sitting at around $1,000, right? It went uh, below $1,000 for a sec. And uh, it came down like almost 80%. People were, you know, it's so stupid. Like people are FOMOing into Ethereum right here saying, bye, bye, bye. And now we are here. That it's like, okay, bye. It's not how it works. You should really fucking buy right here, right? So, um, yeah, definitely uh, Ethereum, a good buy for me. Also, for Ethereum goes, the RSI is sitting at a complete, complete, complete oversold uh, territory right now. It doesn't mean we cannot get any lower. In fact, I think um, Ethereum will uh, reach around this level. At, okay, I'm going to give you my price predictions. For, let's go to the price predictions for Ethereum. You know, short, medium, long term, and best and worst case scenario. Um, so that you know why I have Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum in my portfolio, but also when I am, you know, because every, every, every week dollar costing is great, but am I spending just as much every week? Nah, it's, uh, you know, I'm dollar costing more and more heavy when, you know, prices are down, of course. So uh, you can get a lot more for less. So, but now it's sitting at a, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty support point. So Ethereum, uh, where it is right now, I think uh, it might come down short term to $1,000, something like that. But it could also easily break for now, right? So, but if we take a look at some uh, support levels for Ethereum, what's the first, you know, big support level? Well, I think around... You know, don't don't actually pin me to it. You know, nobody knows shit. But around this level, this is a short term, uh, you know, support level for Ethereum around nine. You know, okay, let's say between a thousand dollars and nine hundred dollars. You never never sure. Uh, there are also YouTubers that say uh, nine hundred and fifty eight dollars. Like what? How fifty eight? That's pretty precise. I don't know about that. But okay, but um, that's what we can come down to, right? Then, worst case scenario, right? If we break it, because we want to know, we I, 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 I'm, I'm a bull uh, out of nature because I believe in crypto in the long term and in the good pr uh, projects, but I'm also realistic enough to uh, realize that in the short midterm, we can always come down. There is a lot of on-chain data that shows that we are, well, if not at the bottom, that we are at least near the bottom, but you know, there, you never know. Never, you never know what happens in the world. If uh, the whole world uh, goes to shit right now, then the on-chain data doesn't mean shit, right? So, I want to prepare for worst cases. So, what's if we, you know, if we break this level right here, what's next to expect? Well, then I think where we found support previously um, will be the next support level, which also kind of lines up with what we have seen right here, right? I mean, we had some resistance right here. We had some support right here. We had some trouble here as resistance as well. And then we got rejected. And now we had some support in this, you know, this wick right here. And we had some support right here. So that's around, you know, 800 nine hundred dollars eight hundred and eighty dollars something like that okay if we break that then um and you know there are also people that you know they give this as support and then uh i don't know 
this as support and then this as support but there's a lot of support in between and i don't want to go on every fucking little support level but you know it does mean something it, it's it's not support for no reason right so if we break that you know imagine and be prepared have cash on the sideline crypto goes to shit for some reason could happen i mean it already went kind of to shit it can go to further shit right um I mean, we are now hovering around $19,000 and it's like, yeah, that, that was a psychological level. People felt like, oh, we should, you know, have 20K as support and now we're at 19 and then bam, panic. So you saw what happened. We went from 19 uh, or from 20K all the way down to where we are right now, 19,200. Yeah, it could go really fast uh, when it comes to that. So what's the next, next, next big support level for Ethereum without going to all these small support levels too much? Well, then it's pretty obvious that it's sitting around this level. 650, $750 between, you know, between let's say 650 and $700. This, this area, let me remove the line for you guys. So you can see this is the area. So if you if you feel like, man, we need to uh, have a good place to dollar cost. If we break this, then I'm, you know, pretty much heavily dollar costing in this place. And I don't think it will go any lower. But again, you don't know what happens in the world. I'm not claiming I know shit, right? Uh, I, we could talk about the data, but again... What happens in the world can always wipe out the data we have. Last worst case scenario, if we break that level, then I think the final, final, final level for us to uh, keep our eyes on is around $400, something like that, right? I mean, we had a lot of resistance here. We found support here. We found support here. We found support here. Not really resistance, big resistance here, and then we broke out. So I think that's a big level. And you can also draw a line right here. You can draw a line right here, and we can draw a line right there. It's, it's bullshit, man. We are far from there. So short term, let's say these are the levels, okay? 970, 880, which are not that far from each other, by the way. And then 413. Is there, uh, sorry, uh, 600 and uh, 700, something like that, okay? Is there nothing in between in here? Yeah, of course. Small, you know, smaller, smaller support, but eh, that's for then. Now, there was worst case scenario. What's the best case scenario? Best case scenario is everybody is buying Ethereum in the world. Biden is buying it. Putin is buying it. Everybody doing that. And we go to $3 million then. But what's realistic? Uh, target right here a realistic target is that where we are sitting right now give or take around a thousand dollars that we bounce off that level and that we go up again and that we are able to break the 200 weekly moving average right so that we uh go around somewhere right here bounce back up we have some trouble right here probably maybe hover around a little bit and finally break it if we break this where could it go well the 200 weekly moving average by then will line up pretty you know pretty nice with this level right here and this level right here and also this level right here so 1200 dollars is my first target for ethereum to be a little skeptical about the fact if we are going to break that or not 1200 1250 dollars something like that i think that in best case scenario that will be the first uh big target and resistance target after that will be around here previous all-time high as you can see right here we had some trouble as well and here we found some support as well that's around fourteen hundred twenty dollars that's if the market you know uh decides to make a 180 of course right now because we are now in a downtrend and we have to you know probably first go on sideways movement and then go up i don't see this happening in a straight line but everything is possible but if we break that fourteen hundred dollars then i think we finally can talk about making some real gains again because then i'll see the next big target sitting around seventeen hundred and fifty dollars then the next target around nineteen two thousand dollars and then you know then 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 more and more and more but that's also not for now now what do i think um will happen now what i think will happen in the short midterm and what i hope will happen in the short midterm is that we you know find some some support right here and that it's finally done with the downwards trend 
right? It depends on so much. It depends on inflation mostly, of course, and that goes for every crypto, but Bitcoin is market leading, Ethereum kind of as well. And then we can talk about the altcoins, of course, but it depends on what happens right there. All right, so, uh, but what I hope is that it finally will cool off a little bit right now. We had enough blood and panic and shit. Now it's kind of time to, you know, bore the people out. So what I hope is we will find some support around here, maybe around here, and then we hover around this level for a while. And that's a big range. I mean, we can hover around, you know, $800 and $1,220, which is around 40%. Uh, a 40% range, right? So that's a big level. If you are a trader, there's a lot of money to be made in here. Then it depends on, you know, what, what kind of news will be out? Will the market finally turn bullish? If so, I think it will finally be time around where I have my mouse, by the way. I think September, October will be finally a little positive for crypto again, new elections, new, you know, uh, based on how long the previous market cycles uh, lasted. So I think it will finally, by then, will be time that we will break this and then we will, you know, finally start it to get back up. That's a little bit of my target for Ethereum. Now, what is my long-term price prediction for Ethereum? I hate price predictions, as you saw in my Bitcoin video. It's, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about price predictions. But like I said, with the merch coming up, you know, Ethereum 2.0, I expect like Ethereum, let me put it like this. <clears throat> the, if the, if the product is worse than it is before, and the demand stays the same or you know takes off then the price will fall right but the product of ethereum is obviously getting a lot better so the product is already there then it depends on the demand then uh you know so we have to see what kind of sentiment is in the market by then but if it's up to the demand and that's also getting more popular then we have better demand and a better product then we're gonna wipe the fuck this all time high out in the next bull run, right? Won't be in a single, uh, you know, in, in a single, whoop, but it will happen. Probably something like this up, little down, up, down, up, down, up, quite much up though. So um, I think this is compared to what we are going to expect for Ethereum, not a lot. Look, in the, in the, well, not first bull run, but in the 2017 bull run, 2018 bull run ethereum did a 60x quite crazy right so let's take it to the next one from the bottom to the exact top right and that's not what you are going to buy it's not not doable that won't happen of course but you know if you play right it is possible in the bull run after that the 2021 bull run we went from the low to the high which was give or take also a 60x now i feel like Fundamentals are getting better for Ethereum. Mass adoption will come. The world is, you know, knows about it right now. Back then, you know, Ethereum, it wasn't mainstream. No big companies were using it. Even here, not really, 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 not as much as it will. So let's just go best case scenario right here. Let's pretend the same fucking shit will happen. Everybody gonna laugh at me right now, but it will put Ethereum around $60,000. Well, you know, let's see to, you know, claim $60,000 with Bitcoin first, of course. But this is not a goal that I have set in my head for this year or next year or whatever. This is the long, long, long term. I mean, a million dollars Bitcoin as well. Uh, you know, I, I don't see a reason why it's not possible, but we are talking about decades, right? So um, will also, will this happen in the next bull run? If we get like... The same bull run as we've seen in 2020, 2017, 2013. Well, if it does the same, then it will happen in the next bull run. But you have to know that there is a lot more liquidity, of course, right now. The price is already higher. So will it do another 60x from here? I highly, highly doubt that it will do that in the next bull run. Also, that's from the price where we are right now, right? Ethereum get, can get lower. I mean, the previous bull runs, we did a 60x from the low to the top. But who says that this is the low right here? I mean, maybe, you know, 
this this level what we pointed out 445 dollars will be the low if we do a 60x from there then it would put ethereum at around twenty eight thousand thirty thousand dollars that's already a lot but more realistic of course but let's say it will do half of it all right so this is worst case scenario of the best case scenario right so ethereum did a 60x in the 2017 bull run ethereum did a 60x in the 2020 bull run let's just say it will just you know do a 30x in the next bull run then it will put ethereum around fourteen thousand dollars and that's from the point where ethereum will be sitting at four hundred dollars at the low where we are far from now so based on the previous data and it's not i hate these people that say well it happened in the past so it happened uh, can happen right now as well Nah, that that's bullshit every time is different this time is different than the last time the last time was different than the time before that so i don't know that's the case actually but if we just look at numbers at what happened and if we just look at like okay but what if it happens right now then worst case scenario we will end up right here it's not that unrealistic, although it's really hard to imagine right now, given the fact that we can't even reclaim $1,200 for a quite some time, right? So I know that a lot of people feel like, yeah, this is not possible. And well, $14,000 Ethereum, I can see that happen in the next bull run, to be honest. So my goal for Ethereum and my portfolio is to have at least this year 20 uh, Ethereum. I, I wanted to have one Bitcoin this year. That's around twenty thousand dollars right now. Twenty Ethereum will be around the same price as well. I think it is doable, and I think twenty, you know, Ethereum. You know, do the calculations. If it does go to fifty thousand dollars, and um, you have twenty of these things, right? Even ten or five, it's it's great hold. Even if you can stake it for like what was it, ten percent, something like that, right? So. I feel like, okay, I need to stack up on Ethereum. It's, um, you know, a, when it comes to risk reward and you have some patience, it's one of the best plays in my opinion. Sorry, long ass video, but there is one more thing I do would like to show you and that's the Ethereum Bitcoin chart. So how much is Ethereum worth when you not compare it to the dollars, but to Bitcoin, right? And when it comes to that, there is a lot of room to come down yet. And it could mean a lot of things, right? I mean, Ethereum, it looks like we are sitting at a great support level right now where we are. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. Well, a lot of support as well. So, that's where we give or take are sitting right now. We were in this upward trend though. So, that's uh, a place that we really need to hold. So, we can come down. We break this and we can come down right here compared to the Bitcoin chart. Doesn't look like a lot, but I think it's a fall of like 20... Well, almost 20% compared to Bitcoin. Uh, what does it mean? Well, it's really hard to say because what, what will it mean? You know, Ethereum can come down compared to Bitcoin a lot. If we lose this level eventually, then we are pretty screwed. Uh, and I think we will see this this around as new support, right? So that's half of where we are right now. That could mean like the four five hundred dollars we talked about, but that's if Bitcoin will stay twenty k, right? If Bitcoin decides to go down even way more, then the Ethereum USDT chart is going to fucking shit. If Bitcoin decides to go up and this comes down, then Ethereum USDT might not change that much. So yeah, of course it depends on Bitcoin, but also if we look at this. RSI completely oversold, not as oversold as it is on the USD dollar, uh, on the US dollar chart, but still pretty oversold. Last time we were that oversold was in 2019. So when it comes to that, I mean, the prices were lower. <laughs> yeah, but still it's, it wasn't that oversold. The starch RSI on the weekly chart is sitting at an oversold territory as well. And if we put it on the monthly chart, you'll see that it's pointing down and we are not quite there yet. So I expect Ethereum compared to Bitcoin maybe to bleed a little more. It will make sense if we break this level and that we uh, will find support right here, that we end up on this support level right here as well. 
Um, so it will kind of make sense to have that reset that we have been waiting for. And then it depends, like I said, on Bitcoin, uh, what it's going to do compared to the USD dollar chart. And um, if Bitcoin stays around the same, then yeah, I can see Ethereum go down to around 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 seven hundred dollars. Uh, that's pretty realistic, though, in my opinion, for the you know mid term, something like that. So. That's my, my, my take on Ethereum. Um, although, you know, there are a lot of bearish signs in the short, medium term, which might never happen though. Um, I'm still dollar costing right now because, you know, a lot of people can tell you a lot of stuff, but what if this is the bottom? Will you really want to miss this out because you always think like, nah, it's getting low, it's getting lower. You are better off dollar costing when we are here already right because what can happen we can come down even further but that's fine because you are dollar costing so you can buy in even cheaper right there were so much people so many people that bought here and, and they don't dare to dollar cost here what the fuck is your problem then so uh yeah that's it for today kind of give or take man so guys let me know do you have ethereum in your wallet as well if so why? If not, why? I'm really curious on um, why you won't have Ethereum in your portfolio. Or why do you do have? For now, also, like the video. If you like the video, we will get to this bear market together, man. So please, you know, stick around. We can do this. I know you're sick of hearing this, but if you watch this, we are going to make it, man. It's not that hard. We went to all this fucking shit already. If we are still here, then we did a quite amazing job. So guys... Thanks for your attention. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your support. I will be here every single day. For now, have a great day. Trade safe. Bye.